Hi guys, just doing another tutorial on one of SEMrush's tools. So this tutorial is about the keyword gap tool, which is a relatively new tool from SEMrush. And it's one we've done a webinar on a few weeks back. Um, there is the full webinar below um, at the bottom of the page. And the webinar is obviously me giving a brief overview of what the tool does, which I'm going to go over in a second. But we also have a guy called Jake Bohol, who's based over in America, who was showing people how he dissects the information, exports it into a spreadsheet, and then finds opportunities um, to go for keywords that his competition are going for that his client doesn't. So it's quite a cool spreadsheet, which I'll also link to below um, if you guys are interested in anything like that. But to go back into the tool, um, I'm just going to show you briefly how it works. It's nothing complex, fairly simple and easy to use. And where do you find the tool? So on when you log into SEMrush, you'll see your usual dashboard over on the left hand side here. Um, and on the left hand side you'll see gap analysis um, so I'll just zoom in so that you can see that um, and if you open that up it's got keyword gap, backlink gap and bulk analysis so the tool is the backlink gap tool that we're going to be talking about so when you click on that it opens up this nice, ta eh, nice dashboard here and it basically tells you what the tool does so it compares up to five domain names you can compare organic keywords, paid keywords or PLA keywords which is Google Shopping um, you can select the intersection type, so you can look for common keywords, unique keywords, all keywords, or unique to the first domains keywords. Um, so it does allow that advanced mode, um, and you can mess about with that and see um, the data that comes back from that. Um, you can explore the data, use the filters, um, you know, by keyword, position, volume, CPC, competition, and all that kind of stuff. You can also export the data. And you can visualize the data. It's got a, uh, a kind of nice visualization thing there if you want to show that to clients and stuff like that. I always find that stuff like that um, in terms of visual looks um, sometimes works better for clients than it does um, with people like yourself who will probably be just interested in the data. So what you do is make sure that you select the right database first and foremost. So when it says database in the United Kingdom, you do have the ability to then scroll down into the country of your choice. Um, and SEMrush does have over 100 countries on there. You can also select whether uh, the device type, so desktop or mobile. Um, and you can select things like currency here um, to GBP for the kind of cost per click information. So after that, you put in your domain names. So I'm going to put my own domain name in first. Um, and down below that, just there, you can select whether it's organic, paid, or PLA keywords. For this example, I'm just going to use organic keywords. I'm going to use a couple of other competitors who I know blog regularly. So Matthew Woodward, just put his domain in there. Matt Diggity. Bear and Andy Drinkwater. I'll put him in there. Um, now you can enter up to five. I'm only going to do four for this example. Um, so once you've entered all the domains you want to look at, there's a green button over on the right hand side here which says go. You just click go and it will come up with nothing found. Now the reason that this comes up with nothing found is I've not selected all keywords here. So this little bubble here, you want to make sure that you select all keywords um, between all the websites and then click go again. And it should come up with the information. So I'm just going to scroll down. So what you can see is 459 keywords. Um, there's 3,456 keywords between Mines and Matthew Woodward's websites. Um, there's 3,641 between all three of these websites and 3,701 3, between all of these websites. So this is all the kind of keywords here that you can see. So for example, 10 ways to increase your traffic. I don't rank for it. Matthew Woodward does. Matt Diggity doesn't. Andy Drinkwater doesn't. 
There's 70 searches a month for that. Um, keyword difficulty, 57.08. Cost per click, zero. Competitive, 0 0.57. And the kind of competing pages results is 81 million. So we can see there that Matthew Woodward ranks really well for that search term. It only gets 70 searches. So you can use... Um, functions on here. I'm just going to press that again and get the highest um, sorry so I'm going to get the highest um, volume search terms on there so you can see again Matthew Woodward's position 18 for Fiverr, which gets 90,500 searches a month. But obviously you can scroll down here and, and find good keyword opportunities, ones that are in page one. For example, WP Engine, the hosting company, it gets 4,400 searches. Matthew's in position eight for that. None of the other guys are on there. So that's a keyword opportunity. And, and it's really up to yourself what you determine a keyword opportunity is. Um, you know, it might be a keyword that's relevant to the affiliate deals that you're trying to promote or whatever it may be. You you know, there's thousands of opportunities here between us all um, to, to get more blog posts out there. Um, so you can have a look at all that and dissect all the data. You can also use advanced filters. So you can include or exclude specific keywords, um, volume, difficulty, average cost per click and stuff like that um, and you can also use containing word matching exact matching begins with or ends with and add the filters there um, to filter down all these kind of keywords so it's quite a good way of looking at data and seeing what opportunities there is over here on the right hand side you can export this data as well if you wanted to export it to show it to a client and if you click enable charts there it does give you the red as being Matthew Woodward, the orange being Matt, uh, Matt Diggity, the blue one's myself and the green one's Andy Drinkwater. We can see who the big player is there in terms of keywords between the, the you know comparison with us all. Matthew Woodward's been blogging longer than most people so um, and put a hell of a lot of hard work and effort into it so I would fully expect to see that there and you know that's you know lots of people that are blogging out there probably want to aspire to to do as well as um matthew woodward so that is a kind of brief overview of the tool there now you don't have to um you can do what you know a comparison from you know my own website with matthew woodward's and, and you know i can eliminate matt diggity and, and andy drinkwater or whatever you don't have to do five it's just an option to um do up to five um if you wanted to so it's really up to yourself what kind of um comparison that you want to do and you know that is the kind of key basis of the tool um what what i mentioned at the start of the webinar was jake's way so jake Bohol, who we done the original webinar with, um, was showing people how to use this data, put it into a spreadsheet, and then use, you know, specific things to, to target, you know, keywords that he wants to push or keywords that he wants to maintain. And it's all based in different metrics. Everyone's different, but it's probably worth watching the full webinar if you really want to know how to dissect information and also see Jake's spreadsheet because what Jake does is export all this data, puts it into a spreadsheet and then works from there to find out the best opportunities based on what he wants to do. Also, what I would like to highlight is with any SEMrush tool, if you feel that there's something else that can be added to this tool in terms of functionality or whatever, you can send a suggestion if you press the green button up here, which will allow you to um, give SEMrush a bit of feedback if you feel that there's something missing from the tool. Um, but as I say, the, the, the tool is fairly uh, basic, it's fairly new, so I'm sure they will add and tweak things as people suggest other things there but if you are looking for keyword opportunities then the keyword gap tool is the perfect one to do that it's as simple and easy to use as i've just described and as i say something that you can help 
yourself with, you know, without going through spreadsheets or trying to work from your, from your memory. You can pull all this stuff stuff up within seconds on SEMrush and yeah, so another great small bit of functionality there that may help you going forward. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Thank you.